Hi there Stitchers, it's Rachel from Moonlight Stitchers, hope you're all well. So today I'm going to talk about my Moonlight Hair workshops. I'm going to start off with the in-person workshops and then we'll come on to international people who might like to join me on an online workshop. So first of all, I want to say that whether you're a novice stitcher or whether you're an experienced stitcher, it does not matter because I how I've adapted this is to for people to be able to use it a little bit like the old-fashioned stitch samplers you know you used to see them didn't you on the wall you still do see them on the wall that um, you'd you'd make your stitch sampler and you'd learn the stitches and and so on so I kind of treat them a bit like that so if you're a novice or, you, or you're um, new to stitching, you can just do um, running stitches. I'm looking for running stitch on this. And of course, I can't see it because I'm not. Oh yeah, so, uh, you know, I will sort of, I've done lots of running stitches here. And I do lots of running stitches throughout my work because I find them very, very versatile. And they tend to, um, make your fabric if you've got a, a quite a fine fabric they will they will stabilize your fabric so um i tend to use quite a lot of running stitches throughout my slow stitching work um for each panel i will do a different stitch or i will add a different embellishment or it will be something that might mean something to me. A lot of my work has um, cow parsley in it because on my walks with Reggie uh, in the sun, in the early springtime, I walk along the paths of throffy cow parsley, and they influence me. I don't, you know, I like to be influenced by my surroundings, so I will put those on my work. I, I use them a lot. So, um, as you develop your stitches, you can add more intricate stitches to your piece. So it's, it's a bit like a sampler, as I say. But on the day of the workshop, um, you will, I well, you will be taught. In I'm using that in a very very loose kind of way. I'll show you how to make the basic. Uh, fabric um, and then we'll cut it out and then we'll do some basic stitches I mean I'll probably show you how to make Suffolk puff or a you might not know how to do a certain stitch and I'll help you with that it's not primarily a, a workshop where I will teach you stitches the reason for that is there's hundreds of books out there. I also have little tutorials on my uh, YouTube, so you can just reference that. Um, and so your stitching journey will start on that day and then continue throughout the coming weeks, months, year, I don't know. Um, because it is an element of slow stitching and I want to emphasise that, that it will not be finished on that day because it's all hand stitched and it, I encourage you to be in the moment and be have meditative stitching. So then you're going to say to me, oh well how will I know what to do? So you will be given in your pack when you come to your workshop a little pack of instructions along with the pattern that is a full detailed instruction on how to construct and make your um, moonlight hair. That's actually a moon gazing hair pattern, but you know, they're all the same. So, uh, and also you'll then be emailed after the workshop a link to all the tutorials for Moonlight on YouTube, which you can watch at your pleasure. And they are there forever they won't go away you know they're not they don't expire so they're, they're yours to watch whenever you want to dip in and out so I just wanted to sort of say that I am 
I am there to support you, even though we're not in the room together. And you can message me and I'll hopefully get back to you within a few hours, if not moments, depending on where I am. <laughs> so you will be encouraged to bring yourself a packed lunch or a something to eat but there's endless supplies of tea coffee cake biscuits that kind of thing i mean you know we've got to have that kind of a uh, sort of refreshment stop haven't we so in at the workshop and on the online workshop you'll be given a pack and it will contain everything you need everything so Oops, I've mentioned the instructions and the pattern that comes in there. You'll be given a, a little pack of fabrics and some fabric for a base. Now, when you come to the in-person workshops, I have a huge picnic hamper full of little packs of fabric and they're always usually colour coordinated and they have bits of lacing, probably yo-yos or stuff with puffs, um, ribbon, buttons, that kind of thing. That And you can choose. <coughs> so like I say, you'll be able to choose whatever colour suits your colour palette or your tastes. You'll be given um, oops, threads stranded cottons, sort of metallics, all sorts of things, um, a DMC pearly cotton for stitching it up, that's always my go-to, some pins, a few embellishments, all the eyes and the mechanics to make the arms and legs will be in there. You'll also get, I'm just pick that up because I dropped it, oops, my choice of needles. Um, I like a chenille needle because it's got a larger eye and you can get many different um, thicknesses of threads and yarns through so I try to I, I tend to stick with a um, a uh, oh for goodness sake I've forgotten what it was uh, I tend to stick with a chenille needle <laughs> I also pop in there a um, straw needle or milliner's needle or bullion needle whichever you, you call them and I also pop a uh, beady needle in there because inevitably beady needles are harder to come by and also if you're going to be doing it on the day you might not have brought a beady needle with you blah blah you know that kind of thing so you will get absolutely everything you will need to start and create your um, moonlight. The only thing I don't supply is the stuffing but what I tend to do is I buy a cushion, an old cushion from the charity shop, I use the fabric from the cushion, I wash the inner bit of the cushion and then dry it and I reuse, reuse it for stuffing. Um, I try not to use anything that is new in my work. Everything's repurposed, everything's pre-loved, everything's something that somebody's given me or, you know, I've found when foraging in charity shops for a couple of pence, that kind of thing. So I do encourage people to use um, fabrics that might mean something to them or might have a history to them I encourage people to bring that along with them as well uh, you know sort of granny's old tablecloth or something that's never been used you've had it 20 years and it's still sat in a drawer I, I will encourage you to bring it and rip it up and use it in your work I know <laughs> but that's how I work so let's move on to international peeps and you're thinking, oh, well, I wanted to come to, I know you are. I'd love you to come to one of my workshops. It would be amazing. But for you guys, I've put together a full kit of everything that you'll need, along with the instructions. And once you have that, you'll be given access to the workshops online. So fear not, you can get involved. And um, I hope you do. So you'll get everything that exactly the same, apart from the teas and coffees and refreshments. I can't give you that. <laughs> but, you know, you'll have your own. So, 
happy stitching and if you enjoyed this video please give it the thumbs up if you're new i'd love you to subscribe um if you want to pop anything in the comments please do and i will see you again soon happy stitching bye bye